Hey everyone, it's your girl, Nurse Lily 618 I came on here because I had just did a live with, um, with a group of ladies and we talked about our, um, our nursing school journey. We talked about just everything that, you know, everything dealing with nursing since we become nurses. We were all LPNs. Um, and I'm actually going to tag their YouTube channels down below. So make sure you go on and look at their YouTubes and like them, subscribe, everything you can do. And so, and on top of that, like my channel as well. Click the, I think it's a bell. I don't get on YouTube a whole lot and stuff, but I wanted to start coming back on here and building up, um, building up my fan base, I guess you could call it and stuff. So one of the things I wanted to talk about, um, when we was talking in our, during our live, um, in the group on Facebook, it's called LPN students. Um, one of the girls in there, her name is nurse Reese. And she was like, really has an interesting story about how she actually like saved for nursing school. And I never really talk about it. I actually get ready to talk about it. I tell people about it, but I never have done a video on it and stuff but i didn't realize like i've had two people this week alone and they were like really uh, like i watch stuff on facebook and i watch your stories on snapchat and, and like literally no joke and these are not people on facebook or whatever these are actually people that i know and stuff and they was like i just want you to know like you really inspired me so i was like you know when people tell you something about yourself you know what i mean you be like you you feel weird you know and so um i decided i'm gonna go ahead and um and tell this story of how i saved almost ten thousand dollars in order to go to nursing school as a single mom and everything so that way maybe i can help somebody else i'm a math out of plan because i'm actually getting ready to do it again so <clears throat> When, and I have my calculator here because if anybody wants to do numbers to make sure everything like lines up together. I also have my calendar here. And then I also have um, the plan that I started writing out. And then I have my planner as well. So just to start, that's a few things you're going to need. You're going to need a calendar. You're going to need a calendar that you can write in. Just, you know, any type of yearly calendar. Um, especially for the years that you plan on going to school. And if you get on Amazon, I believe if you type in, let's say you want to go to nursing school in 2026, I believe you should be able to type in, um, you know, um, two year calendars for 2025, 2026 or something like that. I believe on Amazon, you should be able to find something like that. So if you want to start planning now and stuff, um, so, um, girls going to need a calculator, you're going to need your planner. You guys know if you watch any of my other things, I talk about planners all the time. Planner, planner, planners. You're going to need um, an ink pen and a pencil. Because, and the reason why I say that is something I know you're probably like, why are you talking about an ink pen and a pencil? You're going to need a pencil because you're going to need an ink pen to secure it. And you're going to need an an eraser a pencil to be able to jot it down and you may have to change some of the plans but once you write it in ink and i'm going to talk about all of that why the planner is important once you write it in ink that should secure it that's it so anyway so we're going to talk about it so when i decided to go back for my lpn i had to be realistic let's let's talk about that you have to be realistic on your goals. You have to be realistic and say, okay, you can't just say, you know what? The LPM program starts up in January. So we are in August now. So that's September, October, November, December. So you have four months to prepare for LPN school. If you're that kind of person, kudos to you. I'm not. It took me um, about a year and some to prepare for nursing school. I decided I wanted to go to nursing school in March of 2019 and I um I started my saving spiel March of 2019 and I finished uh a few months before I started. I started January of 21. So about a year about a year and a half. We'll just say a year, year and a half and something. You really have to be realistic, you know? You have to be realistic and I'm talking from a single mother's point of view i have my daughter is currently 16 but i went to nursing school when she was 14. she was 14 i believe going on 15. and 
um yes she has an active father in her life but she lives at home full time with me um you know her dad does help out but i'm you know it's still me it's still he helps out with um certain things dealing with her and stuff but he does not help out with any of my bills my car payments my rent none of that kind of stuff um and i will say this because i know a lot of people like to throw up the child support thing we are not on um a legally binding child support we came up with a certain amount and that's what we agreed to but even the certain amount i will say this it's not enough to take care of a child it's just what we agreed on and what we stuck to you know so um that's not what this video is about and stuff so let's just say that i want to talk about strictly what you do only you know what i mean so what i decided to do was i had to figure out a plan and so i had to be honest with myself you have to be honest with yourself and figure out what kind of learner are you for me i am i have kind of like this one track mind kind of thing so for me i can't work and go to school at the same time because i've seen some people who go to school during the week who work on the weekends who work go to school during the week work night shift i've seen some people who go to school during the week work double shifts on the weekends work night shift i can't do that at all if i'm in school mode I'm in school mode, especially when it comes to nursing school and an LPN program or LPN and bridge program, um, especially an LPN program. Let me start there. LPN program um, is typically full time. It's typically Monday through Friday, Monday through Thursday. You're there all day. You know what I mean? So every single day in my program, it was something we had. We had a, we had a, we had lesson on Monday. And then on Tuesday, you had a test on that. That's how it works. That's how a majority of nursing school, nursing LPN programs are because they're so accelerated. You don't get, okay, well, you'll learn it Monday and have a test on it next week. No, it don't work like that. You guys, if y'all have a school out there like that, kudos to you. But the one I went to was not like that. You learn something Monday, test on Tuesday. I looked forward to Friday lectures because I knew that that test was not going to be given till Monday. So I knew that I had time to study the whole weekend for my test on uh, Monday and stuff. Or, and then like a some, the, we had, my school did like semester kind of like things or whatever. So after your first semester in the program so i started in january and by march april we had clinicals on mondays and fridays i believe it was mondays and fridays so when i came so i was really happy about friday lecture because that means that test was not going to be given until tuesday so it was crazy but that meant that tuesday i had multiple tests to take you know so it was some good and it was some some bad and stuff when i was in my program they told us before we even got in be prepared to take over 300 and let me get this number right it was either 310 or 340 tests but i know it was somewhere up in there and i want and i promise you i really want to lean toward towards the 300 um and 40 if i find out that information i will um correct uh, corrected in in this uh in the comments or so but it was somewhere around 340 tests and stuff they let us know that's how many tests you're going to be taking so um yeah so you need to figure out can you work and go to school at the same time for me i could not so what i did was i decided to sit down and i um created a plan for myself and i wrote down all of my bills and we're going to just make up one hypothetically I got my Sharpie here so you guys will be able to see it and stuff. So I don't want this video to be real, real long. So let's just talk hypothetically. Let's just say that your rent every month, and I'm just going to use a number. I know this is not a realistic number. Let's just, uh, well, some places it is, but today's world, $500 a month is not a realistic number. Let's say your rent is $500 a month okay and let's say your program is 12 months long 12 months long so what i did was my program was 11 months long so i saved for 12 months to give me an extra month so i would not have to jump right back into working as soon as i graduated even though i end up doing that but um i gave myself an extra month so i could study for my NCLEX and this and that so we're going to take 500 let's say your program is 12 months long 500 times 13 that extra month 500 times 13 equals 6,500 
So you need to save $6,500 um, just for your rent alone. So let's say your, um, I don't know, let's say your, your car insurance is $200 a month times 13 again. Okay. 200 times 13 is 26. $2,600. Okay. Then you have, um, your car, I don't know, your car insurance or, or your car note. I'm sorry. And let's just say that's, um, we'll say that's $300 a month or something like that. Three times 13. Remember that number. The 13 is that extra month that we're giving ourselves. That's $3,900. Okay, so I'm going to stop right there because I think you guys kind of understand where I'm going with that. So you're going to multiply any of your bills that you have that you get a month. I don't care if it's your cell phone bill. Let's say it's $60 a month times 13. 60 times 13 equals $780. Okay, so the point of doing this is because you need to see how much money you need to save so you don't have to worry about any bills while you're in school. And I did the majority, I did the the um the most like expensive one, like your rent, car insurance, your um car note, and this and that. And then I did the cell phone bill because it's important to have you know your phone and all of that stuff. So let's add these numbers up real quick: sixty five hundred plus twenty six hundred plus thirty nine hundred plus 780 equals 13780 13,780. So, with that being said, that's how much money you need to save. And so you're asking yourself, how am I going to do this? How am I going to save $13,780? That's when you have to go back and be realistic with yourself. You have to ask yourself, can I save 13,000 seven hundred and eighty dollars in four months i don't know what you guys do but for me i can't save that in four months okay so we're going to talk about how we're going to do this so we're going to we're going to come up with a realistic goal let's just say you want to go to nursing school in um in a year you want to go to nurse school in a year so this is august of 2023 you want to go to nursing school by august of 2024 so that's one year you're giving yourself so we're going to take that number and divide it by 12. okay divide by that by 12 okay so that comes up with and we're going to go ahead and just round our number it comes up to one thousand one hundred and fifty. $50, okay, a month. So you you need to be saving $1,150 a month um, for the next 12 months. So you ask yourself, how am I going to do that? How am I going to save $1,150 a month? Okay, let's do some more math. So you're going to take that number, the $1,150 a month. This is everything that I had to do. And you're going to say, okay, well, I get paid um, I get paid, I, I don't know, let's say me, it's a little harder because I was agency. So I was getting paid weekly, I was getting paid daily and this and that, whatever. So you're going to divide that by two. Let's just say you get paid every two weeks. So that divided by two equals $575 every two weeks. So what I did was when I was planning this, I said, I need to be putting, just using this number, I need to be putting $575 in my account every two weeks. And if you do that, you will be able to save the $13,780 in 12 months, in 12 months. So you just have to be honest and realistic, even though you may want to go this December, you have to be honest with yourself. Can I work? I mean, you don't have to save this money. You know, you should save something. Don't go to into nurse school with no money because you may have some issues with your car. You may have some issues just somewhere. Some, everything happens. Life happens when you're in nursing school. It seems like something always happens and stuff. Um, 
And so you need to just be realistic with yourself and be like, hey, even though I want to go in December, maybe I need to go for next December. Let me like hustle it out. Let me like, you know, really grind it out and give myself until December of 20, um, of 25. So that'll give you, uh, what is that? 16 months. So let's see how much you would have to save doing that. If you took one, three, seven, eight, oh, divided by 16 months. So you would have to save $861 divided by two. You would have to save $430, um, $430 every two weeks for 16 months, which is, it's not bad. Let me tell you guys something, how you can do that. Like I said, once again, I was agency. And so for me, it was, it was really easy because a lot of these agencies out here, they pay. And if you guys email me and stuff, um, I'm thinking about doing some, some, um, agency nurse consulting for like a, a very small fee because I really want everybody to get out here and make it, you know what I mean? But for me to sit up here and spend my time and talk to you guys and consult with you guys, you know, obviously, you know, I want to benefit off of it myself as well. So for you to do that, when I was agency, I, I found shifts. I found agencies that pay daily. I found agencies that pay weekly. I found agencies that pay next day pay and stuff. So out of 30 days, if you find an agency that let's just say, um, Let's just say you have a regular permanent full-time job or something like that. You have to be okay with saying, hey, you know what? I may work day shift, but because I want this so bad, I'm going to go and do a night shift. That's what I did. I worked day shift. I worked some night shifts, um, 12-hour shifts, and this and that. But I really wanted to do this, and I knew that I could not work and go to school at the same time. So you need to be okay with, uh, let me write this number down, $430. Okay. You need to be okay with working. Let's just say hypothetically, you're a CNA working through agency and a lot of CNAs that work through agency, they make like, I've seen, um, the apps that I can talk to you guys about, I've seen them making 2150 times 7 50 because you got to take that little break or whatever. So that's $161. 6125 a, a day. That's $161.25 a day. So let's take 430 divided by 161 equals. You would just have to work two shifts. Yeah. You just have to work times two. About two and a half. We'll say two and a half and stuff. So 161 times 2.5 gives you 402. So anyway, you know, so you would just pretty much have to work like two to three shifts extra to get that. But it's about how motivated you guys are. I know you're probably like, oh my God, like uh, I work a full-time job and trying to fit in three extra shifts. But look, I want you guys to understand when you get into nursing school, you don't have to worry about your, your bills. Your bills will be paid up. And one thing you're going to see in nursing school is you're going to learn a lot. You're going to get in nurse school and the girl may next to you or the boy may next to you. He's like, oh my God, I need to pay my bills. I got to work today. We got a big test coming up. Guess what? You won't have to worry about that. You know, you, you know, maybe you could be that friend and be like, hey, you know, because you do, you don't have to work throughout your program. Maybe you can make a study. I'm like, hey, friend, I get it. I totally understand. You know, we're both in this to win this. Hey, I'm going to make a study guide tonight. You know, when you're off, you make a study guide. You know what I'm saying? Always take care of yourself just because you made a study guide Monday because she had to work and you don't have to work. Don't depend on her or him to make that study guide when they off because guess what? They may not come through. So let me just say that. But I'm just saying, whatever you guys come up with, is you know ideal you know what i'm saying um because you don't have to work so just look at it like that yeah you losing out on sleep yeah you're you know missing out on you know the girls they going out to the to the um to turn up the boys they going out to go kick it tonight and you can't go because you got to work this extra shift guess what it's about the bigger picture it's going to be many a night that you'll be able to turn up and kick it and this and that you know what i mean lord willing so 
I just really wanted you guys to understand the importance of making a sacrifice for the bigger picture and stuff. And that's exactly uh, what I did. I was actually able to save almost $10,000 for me to go to nursing school. Um, I was able to pay my rent up. I paid it up like four months, four months, four months. Um, and then I also, before I went to nursing school, I didn't use the savings money. I paid my rent. And then I started up once I got into nursing school and stuff, obviously. So um, one of the things I do want to talk about is the planner. That was the other thing I wanted to talk about. Planners are very, very, very important because when you have a planner, and hopefully my papers don't fall out. If you guys can see, hopefully I don't show all my business, but I write in my planner all the time. I write... Um, let me go back because I don't know. Okay, so this right here, I write in my planner all the time and stuff. You need to write everything out. You need to write down, okay, this day I'm going to work this day. This day I'm going to take a rest off this day. This day I'm going to work this day. But, oh, yeah, I called off this day so you don't have any discrepancies and stuff. Use your pencil. Use your pencil. Jot down the futuristic schedule that you want to that you want to work. Be like, you know, let's just say, um, and I'm saying this because you need to pick up agency because agency is your one that's really going to help you. Unless your job can do a next day pay, or same day pay or whatever agency really helps you to be able to um to plan better and stuff because you can go in your apps i work for like four or five different agencies and stuff go inside your app and i'm just gonna use my phone as it and just be like okay you know i need to work i work monday i'm just gonna go back to may i'm just gonna use a day in may so Mon may 20 may of 2023rd uh, the 8th was on a Monday and let's say you work Monday through Friday, okay, but you're off the weekend. You need to be hunting for a ship on the 13th. Let's say you your family's got something coming up. Friends got a baby shower coming up. Go to your friend's baby shower. That's fine. But guess what? You're going to have to pick up that Sunday or you spend time with your family, your friends, whoever the case may be, and you work a night shift that day and be off that Sunday. If that makes it however you want to do it, don't don't wear yourself out. I'm not telling anybody to um to work 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 and don't get no sleep. What I'm telling you is follow your dream, basically. Follow your dream and understand what you're trying to accomplish and stuff. And look at the bigger picture. You know what I mean? Like that, that is huge to me because like I said, I sat next to the girl in school who had to pay her bills, who had to work the weekend and all of that. And it's very tough to go to, go to school and go to work. So yeah, I, I, like I said, I don't want to go too deep into everything, but I'm currently working on my LPN. I did not think I was going to go back, but I'm working on my LPN to RN plan actually right now. And for me, I have to save um, $18,396 because I have a car payment. Before it was just rent, but because I became a nurse, I got the dream car that I always wanted. Um, I have insurance and all of that other stuff. Um, and yeah, so this is this will be my savings goal, along with um, you know, trying to the little bit of money, you know, that I'm gonna be saying to put like a credit on my um power bill and all of that stuff so yeah so i just wanted to share that tidbit with you guys if you guys have any questions on anything please hit me up um you guys can always email me i'll leave my email at the bottom you can leave me comments check me out on tiktok nurse lele n-u-r-s-e-l-e-e-l-e-e -E 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 -E. 618 so nurse lee lee 618 on tiktok um i changed it on youtube my email is relia r-e-l-e-a-b at yahoo.com if you want to do any type of consulting and i'll come up with like a price range or something here really soon and stuff so give me like another week to two weeks to come up with that but like i said it's not gonna be very much at all for us to just talk and see what's all in you i can actually see i'm a compact nurse so and a, what a compact nurse is um 
I can actually see uh, shifts that are in the local area and this and that. Um, and I don't mind doing consulting with other LPNs that have never worked agency before and, you know, want to, you know, go back for their REM, but trying to figure out how they're going to pay, uh, you know, their cost of living and all of that kind of stuff. We can look over all of that. I can look at the cost of living and your area. We can talk about all that and come up with some type of plan, CNAs. I can actually look at the CNA rates. I'm a, um, I think I can look at the rates. I think I can look at the other um, shifts and see what's all available. So I think we'll see. <laughs> but yeah, but we'll talk about all of that, you guys. But all right, I just want to tell you guys how to save money and just be able to follow your dreams. It was one of the biggest, it was one of my biggest goals. And I felt so accomplished when I did it um, as far as, um, you know, saving. When I hit my goal, it was like, Oh my God, I finally saved all of this money to be able to go to nursing school. And I had to make some sacrifices. I couldn't go out with my friends. I, you know, and another thing is too, the fun part about saving all of this money is and paying your bills up any extra money like, cause you will have a break in school. Like you'll have your Christmas break. You may have like a little week, uh, summer break or whatever the case may be. Guess what? You can always go to work. And stuff, you know, especially if you guys don't have any major tests, finals coming up or whatever and stuff. And guess what? That money's yours. So I didn't want to be in nursing school and my friends be like, hey, Leah, let's go out for a two for 20. At, to, they're at Applebee's or whatever. And guess what? I couldn't go because I had to, the money, that two for 20, that little $20 had to be paid on my rent, my power, something. You know what I mean? It's because I, um, because I paid up all of my bills, any money that I got, um, any extra money that I got, whatever was mine to keep and stuff so it was it was really it was a really fun thing and i'm and i'm looking forward to doing it again and stuff and just being able to be at home and study come home from school and take a nap if i had time if i wasn't studying for some test to come home and not have to worry oh my god i gotta work this day oh my god my job is calling me something's going on at work did i do this did i do that you know what i mean it's a lot on you and stuff so just being able to take that time off of work and have a clear mind and this and that and stuff though it, it's getting to a bigger picture and you know for a lot of you guys um it's you know becoming you know, um, a pay, not, you know, getting out of that realm of being a patient care tech, being an RA, being a CNA, being a med tech to become an LPN. For some of us, it's becoming an LPN to become an RN. You know what I mean? So yeah, just look at the bigger picture, you know, home, home health aids, you can do this too and stuff, you know, it's just all about your drive, your motivation, and looking at the bigger picture. All right, Leah. All right, everybody. I hope you guys, I was about to say, all right, Leah, and stuff, you're done now. But um, yeah, just hit me up on all my platforms. We can talk about everything and get it going and stuff, though. And um, if you look at my Instagram, like I said, I think I changed that to, no, maybe I didn't. I have to look. But if I didn't, um, I will definitely let you guys know, but, um, if you look at my, follow me on my Instagram and stuff, and I'll have my whole LPN RN, uh, plan on there and on TikTok. All right. You guys have a good night. Peace.